In March, shares of Chinese EV maker NIO began trading in Hong Kong. NIO initially filed for the listing a year ago, but that was delayed amid regulatory concerns about aspects of its structure. So now they are not only available in America, but also in Hong Kong. This is good news for those who wanted to buy NIO stocks. Relations between the US and China could get worse at any moment and we have an example of Russian stocks. Sberbank of Russia is down 40 times in London and trading halted, while the same stock is down only 2.5 times in Moscow and trading is on. And the same can happen to Chinese stocks, so it's safer to buy them in Hong Kong. And then you don't have to worry about the listing risks as well. Okay, so right now new stock falls as production is suspended amid restriction due to the coronavirus outbreak and American stock market crash is also dragging Chinese stocks down. 25 million residents of Shanghai have been sitting at home for two weeks due to an increase in cases of corona. Severe coronavirus restrictions have already led to a decrease of business activity in the country. The continued lockdown in Shanghai and now the tightening of restrictions in Guangzhou, one of the country's most important manufacturing centers, promises high volatility in the Chinese stock market. Shanghai accounts for 4% of China's GDP and is a home for major Chinese and global brands. Most of these productions are stopped due to quarantine measures or disruptions in supply chains. Broad closures among China's East Coast are also reported, further complicating supply chains. Yesterday, Shanghai started to ease two-week shutdown. Some residents were allowed out of their homes. About 6.6 .6 million people can go outdoors, but some must stay in their own neighborhoods. The government said some markets and pharmacies would reopen. I think it is likely that the Chinese government will implement some economic measures to achieve the targeted 5.5 GDP growth. It is likely that the People's Bank of China will lower key rates or funnel more money into the economy or resort to lowering required reserve ratio for banks. So the Chinese stock market should react positively to this, especially considering that America is tightening its monetary policy. The situation is somewhat similar to what it was two years ago, coronavirus, quarantines and then monetary easing. Many Chinese stocks have been falling for more than a year already, including NIO, for many reasons. Many of them are already very cheap, but NIO stocks are still expensive and it is likely that they will always be expensive because the market is very competitive now and everyone understands that prospects for the Chinese electric car market are huge. So the market will not allow us to buy it cheap considering all the risks including high competition. The forecasts are very positive, everyone agrees that electric vehicles in China is a promising industry that will develop rapidly in the coming years. And the company's results prove it. And delivers for quarter 1 2022 stood at 25,768 vehicles, an increase of 28.5% year over year, making a quarterly record for the company. The Financial Times reported that NIO was in talks to license its battery swapping technology to European automakers in a move that could expand NIO's market. The company is still unprofitable, but revenue is growing faster than operating expenses. Operating expense ratio decreases over time, so the company is on the way to become profitable. And the company has enough money to expand production. The main risk is competition. The electric car market is getting crowded. In addition to the new electric cars companies, NIO, Lioto, Xpeng, all traditional car manufacturers start to sell their own electric vehicles. And other companies that have never been selling cars start to present their own electric vehicles. So it will be tight. That's all. Thank you for listening.